All right, first and foremost, I would like to give all honours and praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few. The very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. All right. This lesson is going to be based on seeking the kingdom of heaven because it is now. Seek the kingdom of heaven. Right. And everything else will be what added on to you. Everything else. We're going to start from Matthew 7. All right. Actually, let's start at 6. And 25 therefore I say unto you take no thought for your life and you got to put everything in its proper context so now it says take no thought for your life does this mean you just do anything you're just a lot you're an aloof no you're taking thought for your life but you're not um panicking how am I gonna do this how am I gonna do that take no thought for your life because if you understand the scriptures you know this society as you know it it's going to be brought down okay and really this scripture is good with what anxieties what you shall eat or what you shall drink right because you have a show always make sure what you have enough okay nor yet for your body or what you shall put on it's not the life more than me and the body then raiment right food clothing behold the fowls of the air for they sow not neither do they reap nor gather into barns yet your heavenly father feedeth, feedeth them right even the birds right the birds eat and they feed off what they get at that particular moment at that particular time right there's nothing there's nothing that they stack up okay and Solomon he knows because Solomon's what studied Right, which Solomon is Yahweh Shai studied what animals, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, are you not much better than they? Right? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his statue? And this Yahweh Shai is speaking. So just by you thinking about it, can you add a statue to your cubit? Can you make yourself taller? No. All right? I might take you thought for raiment, clothing, consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, may it toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, not even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. And the lilies, what's that's what the, the, the Heavenly Father's favorite flower, a lily, beautiful flowers, right? And they get looked after. Wherefore, if the most I so clothe the grass of the field which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, burnt up by the sun, shall he not much more clothe you, or ye of little faith? So Yahushua was always helping us with the things, the anxieties of the world, right? The cares of this world, right? Because that happens a lot of the time. How am I going to do this? How am I going to pay this bill? How am I going to pay that bill? How am I, how am I going to deal with this? How am I going to eat? Right? Yahushua has got that all covered, okay? Verse 31, take their, therefore take no thought, saying, what shall we eat? What are we going to eat? All right? Or what shall we drink? What are we going to drink? Is there any water? All right? Look, Yahweh has got that covered. He's got all that covered. Okay? Where shall we be clothed? You only need a couple pairs. Look, you only need a couple pair of trainers, a couple pair of jeans couple tops couple shirts and you're good okay but after these things that the gentiles seek the gentiles are seeking after all these different things the carnal things of this world and we're not supposed to be like them and when i'm talking about gentiles now i'm talking about the other nations okay but seek for your heavenly father knoweth rats you have need of all these things he already knows what you need 
but he's just seeing your level of faith. All right, you need this, you may need that, but are you going to um do the work first? Do the work of the Lord. That's what he's looking at, right? But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness. That's what we're supposed to be seeking. The kingdom of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Everything else will be added, just like it was added unto Sodom. Okay. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow. You're thinking about tomorrow. And this is the thing, a lot of people, they have plans. Right? Take no thought for tomorrow. For tomorrow shall take thought of the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day of the e is the evil thereof. We've got to think about the evil today. Get him, get him through today. Just think about today first. You worried about tomorrow. You don't know if you're going to get through tomorrow. Right? Proverbs 27. Boast not thyself of tomorrow. You got people that boast. The average person boasts. I've got plans. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You don't even know what you're going to do in the next second. You don't even know what you're going to do in the next minute. Let alone the next day. Let, let alone the next hour. That's why we can't boast ourselves of tomorrow. We got to deal with what the hell we got to deal with today. For thou knowest what, for thou know, knowest not what a day may bring forth. You don't know what the day's going to bring forth. Okay, one day at a time. Okay, one day at a time. Let's go to James. This is James 4, and we're going to jump to 13. Go to now ye that say, today or tomorrow. And this is how, this is how most people are. Yeah, we're going to do this today. You know, we're going to go, we're going to go here next week. But I, I can't stand when people talk like that, because it's pride. It's pride. Yeah, but the next year, we're going to do this. No, you can plan. You can plan, but always put Yahweh Shai, well, Lord willing. We're going to do this, we're going to do that. All right, because then plans it's happened to me where you have a plan and that plan completely gets disrupted all right go to now ye that say today or tomorrow we will go into such a city right a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain because that's what people are concerned with doing buying selling getting gain making merchandise whereas you know not right what shall be on the morrow you don't know you don't know what's going to be up tomorrow. But what is your life? It is even as a vapour, as a cloud. Right? But appear for a little time and then vanish away. For you ought to say, if the Lord will, Lord Ratazar, Baba Kasha, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or do that. That's a humble mindset. You know, please, you have a shy. If it be your will, allow me to do this. Allow me to, even when you go somewhere, please, Yahweh, please allow me to get to get me to this destination safe. You know, if it be your will, and get me back. Okay. And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. For you ought to say, if the Lord will, Lord Ratazar, we shall live and do this or do that. Okay, but. In today's terms, you've got people, yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And their plan gets disrupted. Right? <laughs> their plans get disrupted. Just, that shows you they really have no free will. That free will, that's the doctrine of Satan. Right? I can do what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead. But your, your plan gets disrupted. Because your Habashah is in control. And that's what these people are going to find out. This whole thing, oh, I'm, in, I'm in control of my own destiny. No, you're not. Your Habashah controls everything. Right, including the hairs on your head, they're numbered. Okay, and it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. But now you rejoice in your boastings, right? All such rejoicing is evil, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> it's evil, right? Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. So, we can't be boasting. All right, and if you are gonna boast, boast in your have a shine. All right, yeah, these people are a bunch of bots, man. I've got to say, 
Hey, these bots won't stop, man. They're getting told, they're getting told what colours to wear, and it's, this is ridiculous. I'm telling you. But that's gonna come to an end. It's gonna come to an end very soon, right? These, these grown ass men getting told what colours to wear, where to go. Can't you see the new the, the, the NWO is here? <laughs> okay. Psalms 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. This is the inward thought of the average person. Their houses was just going to continue. Okay. Forever. But it's not going to. And this is got really going to the, the elites and your ordinary Edomites. And their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. So this is how the odd person thinks. I'm going to do this. I've got plans. Yeah, people, you hear people say that all the time. I've got this plan. I've got that plan. Right? The same thing, it's the same thing over and over and over and over again with these people. Right? So we have to be humble, if the Lord will. So with this, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, shout out to the hopeful elect. Shut up.